If you want to learn how to do flick knitting, this is the video for you. I was taught English knitting and I did it for probably about 15 years. And then one day I just naturally started doing flick knitting because it seemed faster. And I literally thought that I invented it. But then I came across Very Pink Knits YouTube channel and I realized she was knitting the same way as me and that it had a name and it was called Flick Knitting. So I'm going to show you how to knit, purl, and then do a one by one rib in Flick Knitting. Let's start with a knit stitch. This is how I hold my working yarn when I'm getting ready to flick knit. This style is kind of a combination between continental knitting and English knitting. You are completing a stitch with one continuous movement instead of lifting your hand completely off of the right needle to wrap your working yarn. I'm only holding my right needle with my middle finger and my thumb so that I can have a full range of motion. Now let's try a purl stitch. We're going to hold our needle the same way with our middle finger and thumb so that we have a full range of motion, but this time the yarn is in front. Now let's try alternating between knits and purls for a one by one rib. If this is your first time trying flick knitting, you're probably going to go slower than this. And I'd just like to reiterate that people hold their yarn lots of different ways and knit in multiple styles sometimes. So whatever feels most comfortable for you is the way that you should be knitting.